so welcome to my youtube channel phd study tips here are top 15 journals for ec related scholars and professors first of all these 15 journals uh, they do belong to electronics and communication engineering faculty and scholars and students so they can verit uh, and publish their papers uh, with a lot of hope because these journals are highly uh, considered from various fields uh, of uh, uh, electronics and communication engineering and uh, looking to this now first uh, among the top 15 is optics communication I'm sharing all these links all top 15 links in the description you can go and check the description to get so here quickly I'm uh, taking you off without explanation I will explain a little bit later if you like to listen to me so here optics communication and secondly we have Springer called optical and quantum electronics and third we have got again uh, AEU International Journal of Electronics and Communications you can check all the links in the description we have Springer wireless personal communications mostly sorted out uh, journal this is an international journal and we have uh, PIER progress in electro ele electromagnetic research we have another Bentham science that is recent advances in electrical and electronic engineering and we have a Cambridge core uh, international journal of microwave and wireless technologies we have again Springer journal uh, to submit your manuscripts that is circuit systems and signal processing um, and again we have got microelectronics journal here we have got uh, um, about the journal all the information which we will go through again and we have got optics and photonics journal of uh, you have got all the links directly given here and submission link here too and we have IETE Journal of Research. This is of Taylor and Francis online. We have Active and Passive Electronic Components. This is from Willie Online Library. You can also uh, ch check out your paper with this journal. And we have got Springer Link Journal of Shanghai Jiotong University. Here also you can publish. These are high quality uh, journals, probably solid state electronics letters. So considering all these top 15 journals, you can go ahead with sending your paper depending upon the team and the research you do it whether you belong to vlsi or whether you would like yeah, you are be, um, uh, you are belonging to any other branch within the core branch so you can go ahead and consider these journals uh, to uh, uh, publish your papers so we will discuss uh, one each uh, uh, one each journal now you know these journals are highly qualitative and it takes some time for you to get a publication so probably from yeah the wait period is minimum six months to it, it can go up to two years depending upon the uh, major and minor revisions that you get usually and uh, see any journal you open the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to about section do not forget this very important link on every journal on every website you will have this about section page and you will need to first check like uh, aims and scope to know about the journal and also other guidelines probably here we don't have other guidelines directly but here you have got direct link instead of about you you got a separate link for a guide for others so, and that is very crucial for every journal you need to check for the uh, other guidelines because if you don't check these guidelines even if your paper is highly qualitative and you don't follow the uh, uh, the the rules and regulations are designed by the journal because nowadays each journal has its own rules and regulations of formatting the paper and if you don't follow that rules your paper will be instantly and primarily rejected uh, over the first review itself so that, that's the reason why you must be very careful irrespective of high quality paper you have to follow the format that is given in front of you from the other guidelines on each journal and it differs on each journal because it's not just uh, a play of uh, similar uh, formatting for every journal it is completely it takes al almost two to three hours to format a paper exclusively for each journal so unless you follow the other guidelines you will not be able to uh, uh, pass through your paper through the first review itself from chief editor 
and we have second springer link springer link that is uh, here optical and quantum electronics and if you like to send submit your manuscript as we have just told for others you have got so many guidelines here like submission guidelines that's what we are speaking about we need to be very well aware of what what are the guidelines you see such a huge list of submission guidelines now how quality to this journal would be <laughs> that they should give these many uh, guidelines like starting from the instruction for others manuscript description title page text references statements and declarations tables how all these to be formatted how all these to be set up in your research paper and that's very crucial here uh, so let us click uh, like for example how the reference is going to be now they they'll be giving here all the sample references and uh, i i suggest you strongly to download the papers of uh, the journal that you are going to send the previous old papers and how they were accepted on which formats if you check their research papers you will get one clear understanding more than the submission guidelines how to go about with your manuscript sub submission and as we move forward we have another journal international journal of electronics and communications Here again we have here guide for others you can check here uh, clearly and sometimes your submission of article doesn't just go with by say uh, through by sending through some email id these journals have their own platform where you have got login and credentials uh, to submit your paper so like for example you see here this is called the login credentials like other login username and password so you need to register for this like for example here like we have four parts publisher login other login so yours is other login and uh, you have ORCID I think uh, uh, you have to have uh, this 16 digit number so that your work uh, is minimized when you upload your paper via ORCID okay we call it ORCID or ORCID whatever may be so you have your ready made details to submit so you uh, I suggest all of you to register yourself in OK or ORCID so so register now if you click register now then that is where you will be uh, uh, registering see here use my ORCID record so if you already have got this everything will become easy otherwise you need to again give a first name uh, last name email address and continue and thereby follows with the registration and we have another link here wireless personal communications this is an international journal again of high quality with aims and scopes editorial board and journal updates so the same goes here you have got ethics and disclosures now what are the ethics that you need to follow while submitting your paper also is a matter of importance you can't just uh, write a paper of a uh, lot of plague a uh, lot of plagiarism issues from collecting from various sources and not not be able to really uh, bring a qualitative unique paper then that becomes a problem that's that's how that's how comes here ethics and disclosures so we have another journal peer or peer this uh, electronics and communication um, engineering faculty and scholars they know it very well how to pronounce certain technical words so progress in electro um, uh, magnetic research yes we have here so so many journals whether are you trying to publish in peer b c or m be careful which is where uh, recognized and uh, accredited which is on which platform uh, uh, has its credentials you have to understand clearly and thereby follow up with these journals okay so next one is we have bentham science yes recent advances in electronic electrical and electronics engineering uh, you have got all the details you can go for call call for paper and see when when are what are the dates that are given there and some journals they accept uh, papers throughout the year but that doesn't mean your paper will be reviewed as soon as you send it they'll be receiving papers throughout the year and when and when when and where they find time uh, to publish or they have their own limitations of uh, accepting papers depending upon that your paper will be reviewed but i strongly suggest once you send your paper to the to the journal make sure you follow up them once in at least three months don't just keep quiet thinking that okay uh, review time will be longer and i don't lo i don't need to uh, communicate with them and disturb them don't do like this you can disturb them you can ask them what is the status of your paper at least once in three months if not every day if not every week but at least once in three months don't sit idle like that thinking that okay it may take longer time and after six or eight months you come you contact the editor and editor tells that your paper uh, has got rejected recently and we don't 
they may not even sometimes communicate that your paper has been rejected sometimes due to some limitations that they have got and we have here another journal international journal of microwave and wireless technologies yes this is one more journal that we need to concentrate this is coming from cambridge university press you can understand what is the quality of the cambridge all ece scholars must once in a lifetime go with <laughs> publishing with this university press that's when your profile will be stronger and moreover your resume builds up uh, uh, stands out from other uh, faculty or scholars and we have got another one here circuit systems and signal processing you can submit your manuscript here as i click this link you can see the link is being fo uh, forwarded to again to the uh, sign up page where you will be submitting and uploading your paper and um, you will see all the updates here you don't need to even send email like ju i've just discussed about uh, uh, following up the editor all all the updates are given within the uh, within the login credentials once you log in you will know what is your status over there so that way this is the benefit of having this kind of uh, uh, uploading paper into one portal and uh, checking the status without even following up with chief editor and what is happening with the journal okay and we have here one more journal microelectronics journal about the journal you have got published since 1969 the older the journal is the better the quality you all know this principle so again publish you have submit your articles you can you can see here guide guide for others is different from what you have been seeing till now we have a big list like uh, aims and scope and uh, what are the what are the areas that these people the top these topics include but is not limited to which means the, it doesn't mean that you need to publish only these micro electronics related uh, paper but you can also send uh, paper if, if your paper meets these topics also okay so yeah uh, don't just uh, decide on seeing the title of the journal about whether your paper is eligible to to be sent to them or not but understand some journals accept topics that are indirectly related to it and uh, some paper some journals accept uh, uh, multi multidisciplinary way so you have to understand that not just by seeing the title title but by understanding the papers that have been recently published or checking the other guidelines so here we have got another one like uh, we have got here um, um, scientific research and academic publisher one more optics and photonics journal you've got all the details directly here submission link has been given here and we have got IETE journal of research again here we have got uh, one more uh, submit an article like all these links are given in the description please go to the description i suggest all of you to read one each research paper from all these journals to understand the quality of the paper also to know the format of the paper and also to know the what are the uh, indirectly taken topics uh, other than the uh, main topics uh, that uh, have been uh, uh, the art that are being discussed there you can just go and find out and get all the overall outlook of each journal we have really online library active and passive electronic components yes you can also publish papers uh, like uh, by visiting some conferences and uh, by going through some uh, uh, by using uh, yeah whenever you go to some conference they give the uh, this opportunity to publish and we have another famous very good which uh, which is the favorite of many the journal of shanghai jia tong university so whatever the pronunciation may be you can submit your manuscript here you can go to the aims and scope submission guidelines what are all the topics these people uh, accept you have editor in chief hang zeng and as you proceed you have solid state electronics letters title discontinued as of 2024 they say here so um, it is at your discretion whether what to do with this journal and as we have uh, discussed all these 15 journals um, it's very crucial for you to understand that it is not just uh, choosing the journals but your paper should be of high quality yeah, as long as your paper is of high quality it doesn't mean where to which journal your paper is being sent as long as it is from a reputed platform so you can be very much confident and you can accept positively all the revisions that they give to you but it's all quality that speaks okay how many words you have written in your paper 
what is the methodology that you have used and what is the outcome future scope and how you are able to uh, bring out the conclusions uh, introduction and conclusion and abstract these play a very important uh, uh, aspect uh, in your research paper so having said, said this these are the top uh, 15 uh, journals that uh, ECE scholars and faculty can consider if you have some suggestions new journals high quality journals i will update this video to another level you can just uh, uh, comment on the links given uh, on the uh, on the comment page uh, all the and also please give me the link uh, where and where uh, i have to upload to uh, bring out some more papers uh, uh, from your way okay so please comment how you uh, like this video and please share this is very crucial share to your uh, colleagues from ECE department to your scholars to your teacher professors assistant professors these journals will be of great help you can also download research papers from all these journals and read every day once at at least so that you get better idea of what is the what are the new updates happening with the the electronics and communications engineering take out the latest papers and read them so that you know all the new updates that are being taking place and thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to con to watch all my old videos where you have lot of help uh, regarding uh, phd and research